The depths of the ocean are easily one of the most mysterious places on the planet, and for good reason. As humans, we can't directly go to the depths of the ocean just because we want to, and trust us, many scientists out there really do want to. So over time, we've developed more and more unique and useful ways to just go and explore the depths. A favorite of many is submarines, as they can be outfitted with various technology and then be sent all over the oceans with minimal risks. Sure enough, some of the things that they found are truly mind-blowing and terrifying as well. Here now are 20 most scary things found by submarines. Number 20. The Baltic Sea Anomaly We acknowledge that when it comes to scary things, there's a lot of context that goes into them, not the least of which is because of how some scary things are simply scary in certain ways, and some people just aren't afraid of what most others are. In regards to this entry with the Baltic Sea Anomaly, it's scary because we have absolutely no idea how it formed, when it formed, and why it's even there at all. That kind of lack of knowledge is 100% scary to scientists who believe that there's an explanation for everything. Yet with this object, which has a shape that looks like a certain something more on that a bit, we honestly can't give you an honest explanation for what it is or how it is or anything else. Not for lack of trying though, mind you, because there have been a lot of people who have dived into what this thing might be and the answers that have come out are as wild as it looks. Such as how it could have been a kind of volcano, which was eventually debunked, or that it was a rock that was eventually carried to this spot by glaciers, which is not as odd as it sounds, or how it might even be the remains of a meteorite from space, which is not the craziest thing to happen in the world, and even more. But our Arguably, the scariest thing is the fact that some scientists admit that this thing could truly be an unexplainable mystery, which shows very progressive thought. The other explanation is that this is actually the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars, that someone crash-landed here from an alternate timeline. That means that George Lucas has even more explaining to do. This submarine captured what no one was supposed to see. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The Deepest Shipwreck Shipwrecks in the ocean can indeed be scary if you were to sneak up on them and be spooked by the massive wreck that you're now looking at. But just imagine finding one of these things in the deepest parts of the ocean. Many people forget that throughout history, shipwrecks have not only happened, but have been caused by all sorts of events from both natural, accidental, and man-made. Such as war, which brings us to the USS Johnston, the deepest shipwreck that was ever found, and it would be explored not just by former soldiers, but ones that just so happen to have their own submarine, which is not something you hear every day. The USS Johnston is more than 6.4 kilometers underwater at the bottom of the Pacific. That's almost four miles deep, and a heck of a long way to go for what's essentially a pleasure cruise. Yet retired Commander Victor Vescovo piloted this submersive DSV limiting factor in two separate eight-hour dives to the shipwreck to be able to explore it intensely. So that begs the obvious question. Question, how did the ship sink? The destroyer was sunk during the Battle of Late Gulf, widely considered the largest naval battle in history. So that alone makes it pretty important as part of history, wouldn't you agree? But wait, there's more. The USS Johnston's commander, Ernest Evans, famously told his crew, anyone who did not want to go in harm's way had better get off now. Not a single person got off of the vessel, and though Evans died during the battle, alongside many of his men, he was awarded the Medal of Honor later on, the first Native American in the United States Navy to have ever earned that honor. History has a scary battle like this one all throughout it, but there are moments of happiness that are sprinkled if you know where to look. Number 18. Squid Attack 
Now, if you were to list some of the biggest things that you'd be afraid of in regards to taking a dive in a submarine, you would likely say mechanical failure causing you to be stranded in the watery depths, a leak slowly sending you to Davy Jones' locker, and of course, a sea monster attack. While that last one may seem like something you would only read in a book, it actually does happen in certain ways. The case in point, in 2014, a couple of Greenpeace scientists would take a small work-designed submersible, a kind where it's small and your heads poke out of the top in glass domes, and dove into the depths to do some research. Everything was going just fine until they then found themselves being attacked by a couple of jumbo squid. To be clear, I say jumbo squid in reference to the species and not their actual size. Because as you can tell in the video, they're only about a few feet long, but the aptly named red devils weren't afraid to try and get in this submarine's way and freak the pilots out. And eventually they left after blasting their classic ink attack. The divers in the sub were fine, but that story reminds us all that we honestly know precious little about squids as a whole. Many weren't sure what had tripped these squids into attacking, but though some think that it might have been the lights on the sub. Regardless, this is going to make many of you a bit cautious the next time you see a squid anywhere. Number 17. Manga Pinna Squid and if you thought that I was done with the squid talk, oh sweet summer child, there's so much terror to be had with these creatures. As noted before, despite us knowing some things about them, we have yet to learn everything about these species. For example, how many squid species can you even honestly name? Depending on how educated you are on the topic, I would guess that you wouldn't have said the Mangapena squid before this video, but you absolutely need to know about it because this is the kind of squid that makes nightmares come true. You can find this squid, aka the long-armed squid, in the Gulf of Mexico and possibly in other places to be honest. It would first be discovered in 2007 by an ROV sub by Shell of all things. They were just doing a scan of the nearby area when they came upon this creature. As you can see, the nightmare part of the show comes when you look at the elbowed tentacles that the creature has. Tentacles on squids and octopus are typically one long flexible limb, but not this one. Many have also noted that its arms and its pulsating fins are something that HP Lovecraft would have enjoyed, and I'm not going to argue Argue with that. True to what I said earlier, we know very precious little about the Mangapena squid, and I'm honestly not mad about it. If for no other reason than the less time that this thing is on the screen, the better, and the less chance it has to call Cthulhu and destroy the entire world. Number 16. Dual Shark Attacks. That's right, I'm going back to the sea monster attack portion of the show, but this time, and just a month after Shark Week, I'm going right for the apex predators of the deep in the sharks. Because here we have not one, but two different shark attack stories on submarines for you, each of which are unique and terrifying in their own right. The first one would take place during the filming of a documentary in Blue Planet 2, and if you don't know, that's the project from BBC Earth, where they get breathtaking footage of the creatures of the deep for us to experience. It's honestly rather wonderful when you're watching it at home and have no chance of being attacked yourself. Because in one clip of footage, a submarine full of scientists would find themselves looking at some sharks going crazy on a dead whale carcass. All very typical ocean stuff, that is until they noticed the yellow submarine. That's right, their submarine was yellow. Anyways, they got fed up with the third wheel and then tried to attack the sub itself, which included trying to break through the windows. Thankfully though, they would fail, but the scientists were needless to say, very tense about everything. The second attack happened with Ocean X in the Caribbean, and they came across a massive blunt-nosed six-gill shark, which happens to be a living fossil from the age of the dinosaurs. One that can be pretty big, as it can reach over 26 feet in length. And it didn't take too kindly to the submarine that it saw, because it began to attack it and tried to rip all sorts of things off the sub as a whole. Now we all know the lesson here, right? It doesn't matter if you're in a sub, you should leave the sharks alone. Number 15. Massive Saphinophore 
Yes, I said massive Sephenophore, and if you don't know what that is, don't worry because I'm going to explain and reveal how nature can be more scary than we may realize at times. In this case, a Sephenophore is a colony of organisms, typically made up of things known as zooids. They're clusters of organisms that are known to clone and grow until there are thousands or even tens of thousands of them in just one entity. But to us who are viewing them from afar, they seem like they're just one creature that has a whole lot of freedom of movement. There's a lot of things that are scary about this, not the least of which is that we now have a massive Sephenophore that was 150 feet in length, making it easily one of, if not the longest creature that was ever found in the ocean. That's a whole lot of clones. The discovery would be made by the Schmidt Ocean Institute using an underwater robot that's able to explore parts of the sea that have never been touched. And thus, we honestly shouldn't be be too surprised that people have found something like this in those depths because while saphinophores have been documented before, and that means documented in more shallow waters by divers, seeing them this big is pretty new and terrifying. But why is that? Well, think about it from this perspective. No one knew that they could get to be around 150 feet in length, so what's to say that this is their maximum? Nobody can honestly say how big they actually grow, and that potential is terrifying. Number 14. Dying Coral Reefs To be completely blunt with all of you, the thing that all human beings should be terrified of the most, even if it's just in the back of your mind, is the thought of our world dying. Not only things like nuclear war or asteroid impacts, but nature itself slowly dying until we can't fix it or overcome it anymore. Sadly, that terror is already occurring and has been happening for a while via various things, not the least of which is the death of swaths of coral reef beds. So what's causing them to die? Well, it's plenty of things, ironically, including some natural things, but more often it's the man-made things that ruin everything, such as oil spills polluting the water and the refusal to get help to prevent global warming, which is causing what is known as coral bleaching and killing the reefs in great numbers. Bleaching happens when the water rises in temperature and certain natural processes that help the reefs to stay alive then stop. And when they stop, the reefs then die. The bleaching is getting so bad that some predict that within a few decades, the reefs will simply be a relic of our long forgotten world. Yes, there are some who are trying to help prevent this, as they should, but fixing this on our own would be a massive endeavor that we may honestly never be able to pull off. Plus, there's no telling what the sea life will do in the meantime. Remember, a lot of ocean life live in or near coral reefs, so with them gone or depleted, ecosystems are going to shift, and not exactly for the better. The oceans will never be the same if the reefs go extinct. Number 13. Whale Fall Picture, if you will, a zombie movie. You know, when a character or random bystander dies and the zombies swarm the body because they want to eat the flesh and the brains. Well, what if I told you that there was an event in the ocean where that kind of mass buffet actually occurs? Because it does, and it's known as a whale fall. As you might guess, this is when a whale dies within the ocean and sinks to the nearby ocean floor. All in all, something that all of you could easily predict happening in the water. But what makes this one so terrifying is that when the near nearby ocean creatures realize that there is an all-you-can-eat well buffet just waiting to be had, they all then go for it at once and they don't mind sharing with other species. The one that you're watching now was caused by a submarine about 10,000 feet below sea level, thus enforcing why this is happening. It's not exactly a food-filled area of the water and so the animals take what they can get. You see a bunch of octopuses going into the whale, but there are other species there as well, including bone-eating worms that use acid to dissolve the flesh so that they can get to the good stuff. These are honestly very rare events to catch on camera, so these guys were honestly fortunate to get it. But we can also now be horrified that when sea creatures get really hungry and see an easy meal, they're going to swarm to get their cut. Number 12. Squid Graveyard 
Well, yes, the squids are back, but this one's a little more of a terrifying tale of a different nature. Not of what the squids do to people, but what they sometimes have to do to themselves to survive. In this case, I'm talking about how some scientists were doing some deep research off the coast of California and then went well beyond 3,000 feet to see what they could discover, and what they found were dead squids on the sea floor. At first, it was just one or two, but then as they began to scan the area, they found much much more, and then even more after that. Eventually, they counted up to 60 dead squids just lying on the seafloor, which may seem odd, and equally as odd was that there were some sheets lying right next to them. After a closer examination, it was found to be egg sheets, as in the sheets that squids lay in order to hatch their many, many spawn. So, these graveyards are apparently the remains of squid mothers after they've given birth. There are many reasons to put out for why this might happen, but the fact is that it happens at all is very terrifying. Oh, and uh, not unlike the whale fall, usually when this kind of graveyard is formed, scavengers come in and pick the squid bodies clean, but the sheets go and protect the eggs so that they can hatch without much of an issue. Enforcing once again that we really don't know anything about squids and thus need to study them more, even if it means finding more scary things like this. Number 11. Giant Phantom Jellyfish doesn't the name just fill you with sunshine and rainbows? Oh, it doesn't? Well, good, because you'll live longer with such a mindset. The giant phantom jellyfish is actually a rare jellyfish to spot underwater, so when one would be found on camera in 2021 and 3,200 feet below sea level, that tells you that this is something to pay attention to. Researchers at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute were the ones to find this jellyfish as they were examining the depths of the Pacific. Though they can reside anywhere between the surface and depths of up to almost 22,000 feet, the elusive jelly is most often found in the midnight zone, which lies 3,280 and 13,120 feet below the surface. Further showing why they cannot be easily found, because they're in a place where there's no light, so the man-made craft that go down there have to try and catch it on their own. Now, if you're curious, the giant phantom jellyfish is actually so elusive that we've only been able to catch it by eye or camera about 100 times. That's honestly not a lot considering how many dives that have been done into the ocean over the years. Well, with its bell measuring more than three feet across, the giant phantom jellyfish's four ribbon-like arms function as mouths and can grow to be more than 33 feet in length. In its gelatinous form, which appears to be deep reddish-brown hues in the murky depths, it's also tinged with brilliant swaths of red that almost seem to glow. There's much that we don't know about this phantom, and so more findings like this one are required. Number 10. Cenote Angelita Underwater River now, you may be confused, so I'll explain. There are some parts of the world where conditions are met in such a way that an actual river can flow within bodies of water, like oceans, lakes, or even other rivers. This one is in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, and it's where you can find one such underwater river. But this is where the terror comes in, because if you do go there, you must be perfectly prepared, as the river is literally poisonous. But what is poisonous about it, you may ask? Well, the river is full of hydrogen sulfide, a highly toxic chemical that can affect divers even while in their suits. And that's why to go to this spot, you have to be very experienced and not have a whole lot of fear of what may happen to you. There have been some who have braved it and gotten great pictures, but it's not for everyone to attempt. Number nine. Mammoth Tusk now, if I asked you where you might look to find a woolly mammoth tusk, you may say places like Russia, Siberia, and maybe even Antarctica due to the mammoths having lived in the cold during the Ice Age. But in truth, due to how different the world was back then, you can actually find them just about anywhere if you're fortunate enough. That also includes 10,000 feet below the waves. This was another discovery in 2021, and it was almost missed due to the tusk looking like a log. They did cut off a piece of the tusk and bring it back to the surface, confirming that it was indeed the tusk of a mammoth. So then the research would begin. How did it get there? Was the rest of the mammoth eaten by a creature from that time? And did it die in the water somehow, and the tusk simply sank? Nobody knows for sure, but they're still trying to find out. But anything that might be able to kill a mammoth? Well, that's terrifying in its own right. Number 8. The Bimini Road 
Another terrifying thing found in the oceans quite a bit is pieces of history that make everyone question what we do really know about our roads. The Bimini Road is a great example of this. It was a road of clearly man-made and shaped rocks that was put in place, now within the water, right off of Bimini Island in the Bahamas. The road itself goes on for half a mile, clearly showing that this wasn't a natural occurrence in the typical sense, but a man-made construction, or at least that's what many believe. Because there's honestly no clear proof or evidence of it being man-made, nor any sign of why it would be underwater by now, short of part of the island simply sinking. Ah, the mysteries of life. Number 7. Anglerfish Oh look, it's the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute again. What did they find this time? Well, the anglerfish. And how do I respond to this? Keep it away from me. Yes, as scientists, they were likely very happy to find this unique creature of the depth, but anyone who knows what this thing is knows that it's an absolute devil of the sea, which is ironically why it's also called the devilfish. As you all likely know from Finding Nemo, the anglerfish has a protrusion that it's able to use, and it glows. And since it lives in depths of the midnight zone, that light will attract prey and it'll sneak up behind them and then chomp down. The fact that something like this lives in the ocean is terrifying enough, and the fact that people want to study it is even more scarier. As long as they don't try to enhance it, I'm all good with it. I don't need another deep blue sea scenario, do I? Number 6. Deep Sea Treasure how about a good kind of scary? Like, how scary it is that people get really lucky sometimes kind of scary. I'm speaking about the legendary San Jose shipwreck, which would be found by a submersible robot many years ago, and it made quite a splash. Why? Well, because this shipwreck was the literal holy grail of shipwrecks. This was part of a treasure fleet from Spain, and when it sank, it had enough treasure to equate to 17 bajillion dollars in today's currency. Just think about that. One ship that was found was worth that much money, and it was all found because of a robot submarine. Some people have all the luck, you know. And if you are curious, the ship was 2,000 feet below sea level, so it was not the easiest thing to find, but one can only imagine what those people were thinking when they realized that this robot just made them so rich. Number 5. Mermaids? Well, yes, we know, just roll with it. Allegedly, back in 2006, a camera would be sent down by a group to check out an oil tanker. Not surprisingly, some fish went by the camera. What was surprising, though, was that one of the fish was suddenly impaled by something, and the camera caught enough of it to see that it was a spear. And when the camera went to see what threw the spear, an entity swam by really fast. Many think that this is a deep sea hunter in the form of a mermaid, but nobody's convinced, mainly because the video claims that the film came from Noah, but there's very clearly another language on the bottom left hand of the camera shot. And there are other things as well, which includes how this didn't break the internet when it was released as proof of mermaids or something like that. Number 4. Mysterious Creature now, that's not to say that there aren't unidentified creatures in the ocean. In fact, we know that there are, and some scientists have spent years trying to identify them with what little footage exists. The footage of this creature in question comes from an oil rig, but this time it was actually believable, and that's what made scientists so confused when they first saw the footage, because they had no idea what it was at first. Then they dove deep into the records and identified some of the key features of the creature to realize that it was a placental jellyfish. It's a very creepy looking thing, if you ask me. Number 3. Mermaids Again Yeah, I know I'm not happy about it either, and this time we have another found footage thing about a submarine getting shots of a mermaid. This time though, it's honestly a little more interesting for one very simple reason. In the footage that they show, we see a hand of a creature pressing against the submarine before it heads off in another direction. That clearly amazes some of the people in the video, but I'm still very unconvinced. Could it be fake? Well, absolutely. And in this day and age, it wouldn't be that hard 
prepared to fake it. Plus again, if mermaids were proven in any way, shape, or form, even if it was just via footage that was too real not to believe, why haven't we seen all of the footage by now? Number 2. Chuk Lagoon Something regarded to as the Japanese Pearl Harbor, Chuk Lagoon was the place where the Japanese Navy harbored many of their ships, and in 1944, the United States launched a massive attack there that sank 250 different Japanese vessels. Now, the Navy did drop over 440 tons of bombs and torpedoes on the fleet, sinking 40 ships and killing thousands of Japanese soldiers. By the end of the operation, 16 warships and 32 merchant vessels lay at the bottom of the lagoon. That's scary enough to think of all the firepower that was laid bare that day. What's scarier though is that, not unlike in Hawaii, this is now a tourist destination and you can actually go and dive in the waters of the lagoon to see for yourself all of the ships. Number 1. Titanic Shipwreck the sinking of the Titanic to this day remains one of the most tragic events at sea in history, but there are a lot of horrifying and shocking facts about the shipwreck that cannot be ignored, not the least of which was that the sinking of the ship was actually preventable on various levels and could have saved a lot of lives. Second is that due to the depth and the weight of the vessel, it'll never fully be salvaged. Third is the fact that at one point in time, a submarine actually hit the sunken vessel and the US government tried to cover it up. Hilarious, right? As if the Titanic hadn't gone through enough, then this submarine decides to come in and hit it. So yeah, in life and in death, the Titanic has had a rough go of it. That's all from the realm of the ocean steep and the submarines that have dared to venture there. Were you amazed or shocked by some of the things that were found by these subs? And which of them definitely caught your attention the most? Are there any other things that were found by submarines that should be on my list? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comment section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.